Hey guys, it's Tamika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a full face using nothing new. So I have rummaged through my collection and picked out a few things that I haven't dipped into in a while. I feel like it is so easy for us to forget about what we already have and always want the new, new, new. I thought that doing another one of these videos would be a great way to go back through my collection and find products that I love. So if you enjoy these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up while you're watching and let's get into it. Okay, so starting out with primer, I have the Rimmel Insta CC Primer. This is a green color correcting primer. I do like the texture of this one. It feels quite lightweight on the skin and it does a decent job of color correcting redness. I woke up with this big sucker on my face today, so I'm just going to take my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and just cover that up a little. For foundation, I'm going in with the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I used to love this and use it all the time, but it has got lost in the back of my drawers. So I'm excited to be dipping into this one again. I have the shade Porcelain here. So I've just dropped some onto my face and I'm just going to spread it around a little first before I go in with my sponge. What I love about this foundation is that you can go from quite a light coverage and build it up to a full coverage depending on how much you use. It is very lightweight on the skin so even if you do build it up to full coverage it's not going to feel heavy or cakey at all. For concealer, I'm going in with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo and I have the shade Fair Beige here. I was so excited when this concealer was released and used it religiously for months. I have recently been dipping into the hydrating version and oh my god, that is such a nice concealer. This one has a very full coverage, so I'm only going to go in with a little bit and I'll build it up if I need to. If you find this concealer to be a little bit too drying for you, then you will love the hydrating version. Ooh, this shade is very, very, very bright. I also have Fair Warm here, but I have a feeling that one is even lighter, like, which is great that they're making such fair shades, but personally I've been steering more towards skin tone concealers rather than brightening ones. So this here is Fair Beige, which is one I'm using, and this is Fair Warm, so that one's even lighter. I also picked up Fair Beige in the hydrating version, and I'm pretty sure it's not as light. Let me swatch them for you. Oh yeah. So this is the camo concealer and this is the hydrating. There's a very big difference in those shades even though they have the same shade name. Okay, I have not done a bright under eye like this in a while. I'm feeling oh, some type of way about it. It just doesn't feel right. Very full coverage though and my under eyes do look flawless. I think I might have to pick that up in a deeper shade because I do love the concealer. Next, I'm just taking some of my Models Prefer powder on my sponge just to set under the eyes. And then I'm going in with my Astralis Fresh and Flawless powder in the shade Light Beige to set the rest of my face. Okay, now that the base is done, it's time to add some color. So I'm going in with my Fenty Powder Bronzer in the shade Inda Sun. I'm going in with my Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. I love this one for bronzing. It fits really nicely in the contours of your cheeks and applies the product beautifully. I have been loving the Fenty Cream Bronzer lately, so it has been a while since I dipped into this powder, but this shade is perfect. If you're super fair like me, and if you're new to bronzing and you're a little bit scared of it, this is a great shade because as you can see, it's super light and you can just go in with layers and build that color up until you get what you're after. I remember when I first got into makeup, there was like no bloody bronzers that suited fair skin. They were all so damn orange. It is so nice to see brands coming out with bronzers with different undertones that actually work for different skin tones because it was a struggle. But now I feel like I have so many options. For blush, I'll be going in with this Essence Matte Touch Blush in the shade Peach Me Up. I love the shade of this blush and it is such a nice formula for an affordable product. 
It blends really nicely. It doesn't feel dry or chalky at all. That's my one gripe about affordable products is when the powders feel chalky and dry. Like it just oh, it gives me shivers. For this, I am using my Zoeva 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek. So this is also an angled cut brush, quite similar to the Sigma one, just a bit smaller. So you can be a bit more precise with your application. I feel as though my skin is looking just a little bit flat with those matte products. So I'm going to go in with the designer brands Make em Blush in the shade Peach Glow. Now this is a blush, but it's very shimmery. So I don't like to use it on its own as a blush because it can be a bit too much. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit and use it as a blush topper. This way I've already got the pigment down from the Essence blush that I used. And now I'm just going to add a slight bit of sheen and glow back to the skin. For highlighter, I'm going in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. This is such a beautiful highlight and it's been in my collection for quite a while. I recently did a best highlighters for fair skin video where I did talk about this. So if you haven't watched that already, I'll have it linked down below for you. I'm using this Morphe brush too. It's the E61. It is like a giant fluffy blending brush. So if I just compare it to an eyeshadow brush, you can see that they have a similar look. This is just 10 times bigger. And what I love about using this for highlighter is that it places a really light amount and just gives a nice diffused look. So when you're going for something a little bit more natural, I love this brush. I'm just trying not to hit that pimple because the last thing I want is highlighter on it to make it stand out. Oh my God, my lips are so crusty, disgusting. <laughs> Do you guys actually have a lip balm that works? Because I feel like I've tried a million lip balms and I swear they just make it worse. What is that about? I don't like pore pore cream. Leno lips I think worked pretty well, but it's been a while since I used it. If you have any recommendations, leave them down below because I can't stand crusty lips. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to apply some sprays. First up, I have the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go to set my makeup in place. And then I have the L'Oreal Shake and Glow to add some luminosity to the skin. All right, for brows, I'm just going to go in with a bit of brow gel. This is the Rimmel Wonderful Brow in the shade 001 Light. And then in with my favorite brow product as of late, this is the Emco Beauty Feathering Brow Pad in the shade Blonde. I did wax and tint my brows at home the other day. That's why there's a bit of color to them. So I don't need to do much when they're tinted. I recently dipped back into this brow gel as well. I'm wanting to do a declutter of my makeup. I'm thinking of starting filming today. And so I've slowly been using products throughout my collection that I haven't touched in a while. And this brow gel was one of them and it is surprisingly really good. Look at the size of this wand. <sighs> you all know how much I love a mini wand. So you can get right up in your brows without making a mess. It tints them and this sets them in place oh, like crazy. Once it dries down, they aren't moving. They do get a little bit of that crusty feel to them, which I don't mind because it's my brows. It's not like I'm touching them throughout the day. And that way I know they're staying in place as well. And then in with the brow pen, I'm just going to draw some strokes throughout the front here, fix up the arch and the tail a little. Okay, so I've just primed my eyelids with concealer, set it with some powder, and carved out my brows. Now I'm going to go in with this ColourPop So Jaded palette. I got this for my birthday last year, I think. Look at these colors. I really haven't dipped into it much. I haven't been playing with colors that much lately. I went through a real phase for it, but then I come out of that phase. So I would like to play around, I think, with this purple here and i swatched this shade as well it is beautiful so 
let's see. All right, I'm going to start with my Sigma E40, which is just a nice fluffy blending brush. And I'm taking this shade here and I'm going to run that through my crease. And then with a pencil brush, I'm going to run that under the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the Medium Sweeper E54 and with that purple shade, I'm going to very lightly, I'm like a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm going to put that on the outer corner. I've actually just noticed this shade here in the palette. So I'm going to take some of that and blend it throughout the crease as well to help blend this purple shade out. For that, I'm going to be using my Precision E42 blender brush. This is a really tiny blending brush. I freaking love it. All right, I'm going to put on some mascara. I'll be using the BYS Lash Dimensions Waterproof Mascara. And then I think this kind of dramatic eye look needs some lashes. So I'm going to go in with the Ilua Luxe Lashes in the style Opulent. All right, so that is both the eyes done. It feels really weird having such big lashes on. It's been so long. For my lipstick, I'm going to go in with MAC Honey Love. All right, guys, well, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching me dip into some forgotten products. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I do have a few other full face of nothing new videos, so I will have them linked in the description box below if you want to go and binge. Thank you all so much for being here, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.